Hi, I'm Dave Muir from Skyway Software, and in this video, I'm going to build a Spring Jacks WS enabled CRUD application from scratch in less than five minutes using the bootstrapping, scaffolding, and editing capabilities in My Eclipse for Spring. So, to learn more about My Eclipse for Spring, please visit myeclipseide.com. So, I've got My Eclipse for Spring 8.5 installed, and to get started, I'm just going to create a new web project. We'll call it Customers App. And then I'm going to use the My Eclipse for Spring uh, bootstrapping capability by right clicking the project, selecting My Eclipse, and choosing the Add Spring Code Generation capabilities. I'll just click Finish to accept all the defaults. But more information about that wizard pane and the bootstrapping capability can be found on MyEclipseID.com. And as you can see here, what it did was uh, bootstrapped my project with the spring libraries, dependent libraries, as well as all the configuration files that I needed um, to get uh, started on this application. What I'm going to do next is actually build out a uh, complete app using the scaffolding capabilities in my Eclipse or Spring. So again, I'll right click and choose my Eclipse and then choose Scaffold Spring MVC CRUD application from. So I'll choose Database Schema click next choose the my clips derby i'll choose the classic cars schema and then i'll use customer customer table click next and then i'll um, specify my package so com.customers app and i'll click finish and just a ton of uh, more information on scaffolding is available at myclipsid.com um, but as a summary it it creates everything you need to uh, get this application up and running and support, create, read, and update, and delete operations. You'll notice it creates all the application layers, DAO, domain, service, web. It uh, wires everything in the, my, in the uh, Spring configuration files. It also provides a very robust web contents uh, that's site mesh enabled, has all the JSP CRUD operations, um, as well as provide some Spring JavaScript uh, for validation and also is, uh, has support for internationalization. Now to uh, enable my customer service as a JAXWS web service, what I need to do is go to the Project Explorer. And another benefit of uh, bootstrapping the project, I have, the, I have a set of uh, visual editors that I can use to maintain the code and configuration files. So I'll go and double click the customer service editor and I'll uh, click the JAX WS web service tab. I'll select customer service and check publish web service. Once I save this, this will now uh, add a couple new Java files. So I've got my uh, client and endpoint Java file as well as my new uh, JAXWS configuration file that now is wired into the, all my other configuration files. So the only thing that's left to do is go ahead and run this application. And I'll do that by right-clicking Customers app and going to Run As on the MyClip server application. This is the integrated Tomcat server that comes by default in MyEclipse. And as this is starting up in Tomcat, I will um, uh, open up the Web Services Explorer, which you can access through this toolbar icon, and go to the WSDL main uh, navigator link, which can be found by clicking this WSDL page. We'll use that to test the web service. Uh, but to get to the WSDL, the easiest way uh, to do that is to tack on JAXWS at the end of your URL. And this will give you a list of all the available web services and links to the WSDL. So you'll notice I've got now a SOAP web service that I can go to my Web Services Explorer and add um, into the box here. And then I'll give me my operations. I can load customers. I'll click Go. And you'll notice now I've got all sorts of data here that came back from the MyClips Derby database. Um, now exposed uh, through the JAXWS web service.